try and understand this. The bottom ring is pushing from left to right against each other. So the field, as you can see, is ejecting out in the middle here. The top ring is pushing to the center. So there's just a single field in the middle, be it north or be it south. I have two layers of glass and a holographic film between the two. Now, below the glass, but not touching the bottom, is a stack of magnets. So they are free floating against that of gravity. Now you all know magnets are magnets are magnets and they will always jump to the strongest magnetic field. But if I move this, I can actually make a self-perpetuating magnetic bearing. It doesn't move. It don't matter where I move that. That is going to stay dead in the centre. That's a frictionless bearing. That requires no oil. There is no heat exchange. It is permanently balanced in space. It will never move its distance and will never change the magnetic field. As you can see, it doesn't matter what's going on on the outside. Between the two of them, the lower one is holding it left and right and the upper one is holding it well top to bottom as you look at it. So for those who do mechanics and engineering and you wanted something that was totally frictionless forever, so you can get right the way in, there you can see all the magnetic fields and how they twist and how they all interlock and they hold that device in one place. Okay. So each of the like flower patterns around the outside that you see, they are the convergence of the magnetic fields versus the divergence on the outside. And the center fields are all convergent and divergent simultaneously. So it doesn't matter where you put this, it will stay exactly where you want it. There you go. So the mechanics you say, oh, you always need lots of oil inside an engine. Well, no, you don't. What you need is a frictionless bearing. So if you now take that and you made that like a gear and this pattern like a gear and I rotate this like so, it would rotate the center one and you would have motion of frictionless motion in frictionless gears like so.